So, I mean, Sigala is a player you you need to like, you, you give you got to give him some respect. I mean, if you don't yes. know who he was, or you're just like more of a casual golf DFS guy, he was a very prolific winner in college. I mean, this dude was, was yeah, right Pepperdine. up there. Yeah, abs- yeah, absolutely. And I mean, like he, he, he got it done. I mean, people were expecting him to kind of come out of the gates running. It took him an extra year. I mean, now he's on the PGA. He's got that top five finish. He's going to be very comfortable in the FedEx Cup standings. He's going to be around. This is, this is a different beast, though. I mean, uh, the, the Genesis, the Riviera, coming to Riviera, it, it's just a different beast. It's a different course. It's really hard to get adjusted to. And we've got a strength of field here that's just kind of off the charts. So, uh, Thigala, I think, took advantage of, like, a, a really scoring-friendly course kind of in, in Phoenix last week. And he played great. And you're right. He did kind of get unlucky down the stretch. But, man, again, you know, we got guys like Corey Connors, my boy, Bezayden, who at plus 1,000. <laughs> Yes. Two guys down there, um, Emerson, who they're just higher in the world golf rankings. They're more seasoned. They played this course numerous times. I think you got to hit up names like that. So I wouldn't go with with the kind of the hot college names, the younger guys this week. I think you really got to look for players in this range with some experience. And and I think those two guys and Connors and Bezayden are are definitely top of my list. But you could even go deeper. You can take a shot with Francesco Molinari, who we sh- uh, we've seen show up uh, yep. a little bit. You know, at the Farmers too. Those are three guys I'd, I'd throw out early on a Monday morning. Well, you know, I've just had my coffee and, and I'm feeling, um, you know, good after the Scotty Scheffler win, I'm feeling confident. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that, yeah, I, I would be, I, I think it's a stretch to start targeting the young players like uh, like Figal again this week. I'll even throw out Aaron Wise as okay. another one, a plus, plus 20,000 down there. Um, you know, hasn't started the season well, but a lot of talent. I just think you fade Figal this week coming off the big week, even though his odds are, they're still looking pretty juicy.